only going to spend a couple minutes dealing with this because it's just a waste of my time and yours to, to spend the whole night proving to you that a baby that's living inside of its mother's womb is actually alive, okay? Because it, it defies all science, it defies all logic, it defies all common sense to say that it's not alive. That's why they have to kill it, because it's alive, right. yeah. okay? Yeah. Otherwise, there'd be nothing to kill. It wouldn't be <laughs> multiplying and growing and, and thriving in the womb. But many will say, well, at what point does it become alive? Well, look at Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 5. Here's a key verse to show you uh, the answer to that very foolish question. The Bible reads, As thou knowest not what is the way of the Spirit, nor how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with child, even so thou knowest not the works of God who maketh all. So the Bible says that God makes the child in the womb, you don't know how he does it. You don't know how the bones grow in the womb. You don't know the way of the spirit. You have no idea. So don't pretend to know how a child develops in its mother's womb. That's none of your business. It doesn't matter. So to sit there and say, well, this point it's alive or that point's alive is nonsense. The Bible clearly teaches, I'll just give you a couple of scriptures. It says in Isaiah 7, 14, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son. That same verse is quoted in Matthew 123 as, Behold, a virgin shall be with child. Notice the difference. Conceive has been replaced with with child. What does that mean? That means when you conceive, you're with child. Yeah. Not with a blob of tissue, not with a blastocyst, not with fetus. No, when you conceive, you're with child. So then people will try to attack what is the definition of conception. Well, the Bible's clear. Hebrews 11, 11, if you have a King James Bible, says, Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed. So, according to the Bible, conception involves the seed. The Bible calls it the seed of copulation. It is the seed that comes from the man. And the Bible says that that seed is what causes conception to take place in a woman. Well, guess what? The seed touches the egg and it's conceived. Some people will try to say, oh, conception is weeks later. No, the seed is gone weeks later. Mm -hmm. The seed is gone in a matter of days. And so therefore, at the very beginning stages, when a man and a woman come together and that seed uh, fertilizes that egg, that's what the Bible calls conception. Mm -hmm. And that's what the Bible calls a child. End of story, period, done. I mean, we've got John the Baptist who was leaping in his mother's womb. Just when Jesus Christ was brought near to him, because Mary had Jesus in her womb, and Elizabeth had John the Baptist in her womb, and as soon as John the Baptist was in proximity with the tiny little baby Jesus in the mother's womb, not just a blob, no, that was Jesus Christ, that was the Lord in that yeah. womb. Yeah. And that's why John the Baptist leaped in the womb, because of the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ in proximity, even while he was in the womb. So you have to be a complete atheist or a complete uh, Bible-rejecting type person to even say, it's not alive, it's not a child. There's so much Bible. I could spend the whole night proving to you that it's alive, but I'm not going to because it's a waste of my time. Therefore, ending that life is murder. Go to Genesis chapter 9. 